Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day 11 of this month-long juice feast, and today I'm starting to feel it. Yesterday we had talked about what you can do whenever your detox plateaus, and I had reached a point in this juice feast where I felt like I was ready to start digging deeper. So today I cut out the vegetable juices. The only vegetable juice I had was a little bit of celery juice in a juice that the hubs brought me for our lunch date today. We have a juice and smoothie bar uh, local to us. And so he got us some fresh juices uh, to share with me on my lunch break. Uh, other than that, I have been leaning very heavily on some of the more astringent fruit juices today, and I can absolutely feel that lymph movement. I started the day off with one of our grape lymph mover, and I added some apples to it this morning just to help mellow it out because it is such an astringent juice. I can already feel a lot of things moving. The congestion is starting to break up and it is preparing to move out, which is, again, exactly what you're after whenever you are cleaning the body. So don't fear the purging symptoms. Start to understand them and to embrace them. And this leads me to our topic for today, which is to always check in with your body. Anytime we start any kind of protocol or cleaning, it's very easy to get that tunnel vision and to uh, get too married to an idea. Well, I'm on this protocol, so I have to stick to this to a T and I'm going to disregard how my body is feeling and just push through. Unless there is a truly advanced case in which time is of the essence and you really have no choice but to move quickly and aggressively, I highly suggest taking a more balanced approach. When you're first starting your healing journey, it's very natural for these top layers of congestion to move out very quickly as soon as you start to hydrate and alkalize your body. However, the longer that you clean your body, the less you're going to experience these healing crises because it takes longer for your body to hydrate those really, really deep layers of congestion. If your body is asking for a little bit more grounding, there is nothing wrong with that. This may be as fast as your body wants you to move right now because it knows that if you go a bit further, you're going to get into some deeper layers and you may not be ready for that either physically or mentally just yet. Again, this is not a race, it's a marathon. I find it helpful and motivational to also keep track of your progress. Take before and after pictures. Uh, weigh yourself. Take your beginning and, and ending blood pressures. Uh, take a couple biometric readings that you find helpful and beneficial for you to help track your progress. Maybe these are things that you care about. Maybe you're trying to regulate your blood pressure or your blood sugar wonderful, then take your before and after readings. And whenever you're having these days, uh, maybe where you're struggling with cravings or incredibly low energy, you have something to look at and you can reference, oh, well, you know, I know I'm feeling really crappy right now, but at least I don't feel like I did before I started this. I've noticed this improvement. I can see better. I can hear better. My digestion is clearing up. My skin is clearing up. My moods are more stable. So you can start to reference all of these positive improvements that you are um, experiencing. That way you don't lose your hope. You don't lose your motivation and you don't lose that momentum. With all of that said, friends, I want to say don't get lost in any of this. Again, it's really easy to get that tunnel vision and to have these goals in mind. And it's really natural to be incredibly excited about this at first. And it's important to keep that excitement. It's important to keep that motivation so you can continue this lifestyle, which that's really what it is. If you're looking to clean your body, you'll realize at some point that the more you go back to the foods that you know you grew up with, you're recongesting your body, you don't like how you feel, and eventually you're just going to start craving healthier choices. And eventually, that becomes your new lifestyle. A lot of people often have questions about detoxing while at work. 
I can tell you from my personal experience, again, everyone's personal experience is going to be different. We all have unique lymphatic congestion and genetic weakness, but so far on this protocol, on most days and throughout most of the day, I feel just fine. I have more than enough energy to do my work. I am focused. If anything, I feel more focused now than I did before I started my juice feast because my brain fog is finally lifting. My bowels are clearing, which means my head is finally able to drain. So the acids are leaving my head and I'm seeing better. I'm hearing better right? Everything is starting to work. The, the electrical energy of the juice is literally turning on my system and I can feel the difference. And this isn't to say that I don't have my low periods. I absolutely have those periods where my adrenals tank. I'm feeling very low on energy. I'm irritable. I'm cranky and the cravings start setting in. It's usually a good sign that it's time for me to either, one, get some more juice, two, drink some water, or three, get some sleep. That's huge, especially when you're dealing with weak, congested adrenals. Anything that we can do to recharge them and strengthen them is really necessary during this process. So again, throughout your day, always be checking in with your body to see what it needs and then give your body what it needs. We don't call this a challenge for nothing, friends, but you are worth the hard work and your hard work will pay off. Well, that's it for today's video, friends. Thanks again for joining me on day 11 of this juice feast. If you're looking for any kind of assistance on your healing journey, send me a message on my website at holtalks.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.